We are keeping close tabs on events and reports in the economic calendar. This week, traders are anticipating the event of major importance that is likely to determine the year's trajectory for the few weeks ahead. On early Thursday, traders will take notice of a report on Australia's labor market. Analysts reckon that the number of employed people could have risen by slightly over 11,000 in December. In the previous months, the labor market revealed robust hiring with almost 40,000 new jobs. At present, analysts expect Australia's labor market to signal sluggish economic conditions that could assure the Reserve Bank of Australia to lower interest rates. In this context, the market will see sell-offs of the Australian dollar. Market participants are eager to find out how the ECB board has revised rhetoric on monetary policy. In the recent past, most analysts were certain that the ECB was posted to cut the key policy rate. However, a series of upbeat macroeconomic data raises doubts about a rate cut. ECB President Christine Lagarde has evaded any hints about further policy moves. Moreover, she works and other ECB officials to refrain from any comments. One thing is certain, the ongoing monetary policy is sure to be adjusted. So investors have to wait until Thursday, when the European monetary authorities are holding their first policy meeting this year to clear up the agenda. The positive rhetoric will encourage the euro to develop a steady uptrend. Traders express positive sentiment on the New Zealand dollar. On Friday morning, traders will get to know consumer inflation data for New Zealand. The consumer price index is expected to climb to 1.8% in the fourth quarter from a 1.5% gain in the previous three months. If the forecast comes true, the market will see growing demand for the Kiwi. On the same day, Japan will also report on its consumer inflation. We remember that on Tuesday, the yen asserted strength in the wake of the policy meeting by the Bank of Japan. The central bank upgraded its forecast and expressed the optimistic outlook for further prospects of the domestic economy. The consensus says that the consumer price index could have gained 0.7% in December. If the actual data matches the forecast, the Japanese yen will again in Enjoy beyond demand. On Friday, traders will give priority to a series of reports from the Market Economics Research Group. Market analysts are due to release preliminary PMIs for the key global economies. The focal point will be a manufacturing PMI for Germany, the largest Eurozone's economy. This information will make minor changes in the Euro's forex rate in the medium term, but such changes will make a difference to short-term trading strategies. Experts at market uh, assume that the Germany's factory sector halted the pace of its decline. If so, the index for December will be strongest over the last seven months, and thus the euro will gain ground. Apart from the above set events and data, some other information is sure to arouse interest among investors. On Thursday, Japan will present data on trade balance and the US will release weekly updates on unemployment claims. On Friday, make sure you study the minutes of the Bank of Japan policy meeting that triggered loan deals on the Japanese yen. Besides, don't miss PMIs for the manufacturing sector of the Eurozone and the UK. Another crucial event of the week is the World Economic Forum in Davos. The agenda includes the speeches of global central bank's leaders. The speeches of the ECB president and the Bank of Japan governor are sure to attract wide attention. You are watching Forex Trader Calendar on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals.